This is lesson three of 20 lessons on how to build a Joomla website. If you started at this lesson, I recommend you go back to the beginning by looking for the playlist link or a link to lesson one on this page. Like any software, Joomla has certain requirements to get it going. And in this lesson, I'll discuss these, which include web hosting requirements, FTP software, and zip software. If you've never built a website before, it's helpful to have a basic understanding of how the World Wide Web works. Websites need a place to live on the internet. These homes tend to be high-end computers running special hosting software. Now, technically, you could do this with any internet-connected computer, but you'd need to spend a lot on hardware and software to do this properly, so most don't take this approach. Instead, the majority of websites live on servers operated by a web host, which is an organisation that specialises in making websites accessible on the internet. So, you'll need an account with a web host, and many web hosts have the necessary requirements. However, for the best experience, it's a good idea to choose a host with extensive Joomla experience. There is a list of recommended Joomla web hosts on our website. Most Joomla sites run on Linux servers. However, they can also run on Windows servers. As the vast majority of Joomla installations run on Linux using the Apache web server, these lessons focus on Linux hosting. If you're intending to host Joomla using a Windows server, then you'll still be able to follow along, but you might need to ask your host for help with a couple of issues. Regardless of who you choose as your hosting provider, you need to ensure that their platform conforms to certain technical requirements. You don't need to understand any of this, just let them know that you intend to host a Joomla-powered website and ask if their platform supports the following as a minimum. If it is a Linux hosting account, Joomla 2.5 needs at least Apache version 2, PHP version 5.2.4, MySQL version 5.0.4. If it is a Windows hosting account, it needs Windows IIS version 7, PHP 5.2.4, MySQL version 5.1. Every website needs an address better known as a domain name. That's the web address you enter into your web browser to navigate to a website. You're no doubt familiar enough with domains, otherwise well, you wouldn't have found your way here. But you might not have ever bought one for yourself. Although there are hundreds of places to buy a domain, start by checking with your web host. Most hosts provide domains as well as hosting, and it's advantageous to use the same supplier for both, so you just have the one contact. Incidentally, you can set up an environment on your local computer to develop a Joomla site, but this is an advanced technique and tends to be a much more difficult process for beginners. This is demonstrated in our Joomla Pro course. Installing Joomla is demonstrated in the next lessons, but it's helpful to get an overview now because you may or may not need additional software depending on your hosting setup. A Joomla powered website includes files, and a database. There are two ways to install Joomla. These days a lot of web hosts provide what's called a one-step installation. This function is available via a feature in an online hosting control panel. This may have been created by the web host, but usually it's driven by a third-party piece of software. You enter some basic details and the Joomla files are copied to your hosting account, a database is created and you're ready to go. The process only takes a couple of minutes, so this is a great way to install Joomla. If your host offers this feature, you don't need anything else, so ask them if they provide it. They might tell you that they include script setups via a third-party application, such as Softaculous, Simple Scripts, or Fantastico. If they do, check which version of Joomla is installed, as sometimes these applications may have older versions. The second way of installing Joomla requires more work, and possibly some additional software on your computer. 
The steps are to download Joomla, which is a compressed file. You need to extract this onto your local computer using extraction software, which I'll explain in a moment. Then you upload these files to your host using FTP software. You also need to create a database at your host and then run through an installation routine in your browser. In either case, don't let this scare you as the process is demonstrated in the following lessons. If you have a preferred web host, check with them now to see if they provide a way to install Joomla via their control panel. If so, you can move on to the next lesson. If not, continue watching as you need to understand how to use FTP and ZIP software. So, depending on how you choose to install Joomla, you might also need to understand how to use two pieces of software on your local computer. The first is called an FTP client, which stands for File Transfer Protocol. This software allows you to move files from your local computer to your web hosting account and vice versa. You might not need this to install Joomla, but you'll almost certainly need it at some point, so you might as well get it now. If you already have an FTP client and know how to use it, then stick with that. If not, watch as I demonstrate how to download and install a free FTP program called FileZilla. Open your web browser and go to FileZilla-project.org. Click the button marked Download FileZilla Client. You'll then be presented with a choice of file options. Choose the one that corresponds to your local computer operating system. In my case, I have a Windows PC, so I'll download this first option by clicking on the link. The file then will start to download, and this could take some time. Once you've saved the file, you'll need to install it as you would any other downloaded software. Open the location where the file was saved. Then run the program and follow the wizard. This won't take too long, so I'll wait for it to finish. Once it has installed, choose the box to run FileZilla, just so you can confirm that it's worked correctly. That's all for now. You'll learn how to use it in later lessons. When I first wrote these lessons, it was necessary to install ZIP software. This is a utility that extracts the contents of a compressed file. Lots of programs that you download from the internet need to be unzipped, so you're probably already familiar with this process. These days, it's pretty likely that your operating system already has the ability to extract compressed files, so there's a good chance that you don't need additional software. If you already know what to do with a zip file, feel free to stop now and move to the next lesson. When it comes time to extracting the Joomla files, I demonstrate how to do this using the extraction tool built into modern versions of Windows. The process for a Mac is similar. But in case you don't know what this is about, or if you're using an old version of Windows, I'll show you how to get ZIP software. I'll use a program called WinZip, which is available in both Windows and Mac versions. Go to www.winzip.com. If you're using Windows, choose to download WinZip. You don't have to register, so just click Download WinZip now. If you're on a Mac, go to Mac Edition, try free, and download now. Then go ahead and install it as you would any other program. Strictly speaking, the software is not free, it's a free trial, so if you need to continue to use it after Joomla is installed, you'll need to make a purchase. You're just about ready to install Joomla, and this process is demonstrated in the next lesson. 
Your exercise for this lesson is to ensure you have an FTP client installed. And if you think you need it, go ahead and install the ZIP software too. Then jump to the next lesson, where I explain the Joomla installation process.